just FaceTimed Shakur Stevenson after his win against Artem. But their conversation quickly moved on from the fight to a much more important matter at hand. Gervonta Tank Davis. Those two went in on Gervonta Davis, live. And the things Floyd said and the master plan he's plotting with Shakur is not something you can afford to miss. So watch the video till the end to find out the real tea. There's a lot to discuss with this one, so without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. Shakur Stevenson and Artem Harut Union's fight at the Prudential Center in New Jersey was a snooze fest that somehow went all 12 rounds. Fans were not happy that Shakur couldn't KO Artem, but he still put on a clinic. Round by round, Shakur picked Artem apart, ending the night with a unanimous decision, victory. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And still, WBC lightweight champion of the world, Shakur Stevenson. Floyd Mayweather caught the whole action backstage, and while everyone thought the fight was boring, Mayweather saw the one thing Shakur did that is the key to beating Gervonta Tank Davis. Hi, right now. Hey, yo, can we get Kevin on this? Kevin, yo, stop with it. Yes, can. <laughs> Floyd had to ring Shakur's bell after the fight for the most important conversation yet. Check out what Shakur tweeted after his chat with Floyd. Shakur and Floyd have been cooking behind the scenes and something tells me Tank So is about to go when he steps into the ring with Shakur. And guess who Shakur's back in the gym with already? None other than Floyd Mayweather himself. Floyd's schooling. Shakur with techniques he's never even seen before. Shakur spilled all about this exclusive training in a recent interview. It's a game changer. This will help Shakur immensely when he's up against Gervonta Davis. The uh, latest news with you was um, you got in a little work with Floyd Mayweather. You, I, you know, you posted the pictures. Um, I saw your buddy Keyshawn Davis. He posted a little bit of footage. Um, I mean, I know you post a little footage too, but not really the footage we wanted to see. You know, we we was hoping to see you on the mitts too, but um, how was that? Got, like, how I was it working? It, I got it in my phone. I got it in my phone. But oh, what's up, bro? Come on, man. We can we get a little sneak peek on fight <laughs> hype. Give us a little some some. <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be holding out sometimes, but now nah, it was amazing working with Floyd. Uh, you know, it, it was amazing to see his reflexes still sharp. Um, uh, I was testing his conditioning while we was on the mitts. I kept like trying to step to him and like work on the inside and just test his conditioning to see like where he at right now. But oh uh, no, nah, it was amazing. <laughs> Uh, he he was teaching me a lot of stuff that I ain't been taught before. That that well, I've been taught certain stuff, but like it's like he like reminded me, like he reminded me of like old things of like stuff that when I was younger that I used to do. Mm. I mean, having Floyd in your corner has got to give Shakur the edge over Gervonta, because let's not forget Floyd is the one who mentored Tank from the start. So if there's a guy who knows all of Tank's moves, it's Floyd Mayweather. This is going to be a closer fight than most people think. Shakur knew Floyd was going to back him up. That's why he didn't waste a single second before calling Tank and Loma out. With Floyd in his corner, Shakur is ready to take on bigger challenges. Somebody watching that oh, no. happened? People walked out? I don't know about well, that. it's his last <laughs> fight with Top Rank, so good riddance. But he just fought a guy that had only seven KOs. And like, what was it, 12 and one? What, what was it, his record? Nobody knows, come on guys, don't don't come at me. Come on, I've done my work. Two time, hold up. Two time linear world champion, we've done our job. Yeah. Do what uh, they give me, two million dollars. That's where his value is at. My value should be uh, on the opposite end, but hey, he got a great management team. They know how to move him. For me though, I'm getting a, uh, how can I say? I'm like a Burberry or Gucci or Italian clothing, you know? But they pay me great value, so. We know Floyd won't leave any stone unturned in preparing Shakur for the tank fight. There's a lot on the line for Money Mayweather. Firstly, he's got to keep his word, because Floyd showed no hesitation in crowning Shakur as the best fighter in the 135 division. 
Imagine how humiliating it would be for Floyd if Tank came and knocked Shakur out in the first two rounds. Floyd, who, when we, when you think about the fighters who are fighting now, can you give me your your one, two, three, four, and five when it comes to the the lightweight? Who you would put where? As of right now, the two guys, the biggest puncher, I feel at at the one thirty five, would probably be Javante Tank Davis. Mm -hmm. But the most skillful fighter, skillful fighter at one thirty five, would be hands down Shakur Stevens. What is it about him? Because I know you have a lot of good um, attributes, but do you think he has enough power to sustain? Well, it's, all, it's really all about skills. Pernell Whitaker wasn't a huge puncher, but he was, I mean, very exciting, very tough, and he fought everybody. Shakur is trying to do the same thing. He want to fight the best they got out there. I believe his contract is coming to an end, so hopefully we can come together and I can take him to that next level. Secondly, another reason why Floyd is gunning for Tank's head is the fact he cannot stand Gervonta Davis getting a bigger deal than him. Yep, that's true. I uh, set you off that you was like, I gotta do that. A, a lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, he said. So everything. you feel like it was a sub, like he was subbing you, like oh, he, like he that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me, yeah. and I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. It's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. Cause it's, I feel like y'all, y'all got. I would say love hate, but it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like you know? Is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different, or what is it? To you? No, it just. It, Floyd don't never, he felt as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I, and I'm doing it at a young age, wait, like, when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah. That deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's, that the, deal, that's a part that's of the deal. He, he don't know about that yet, mm. but that's bigger than his deal. Damn. Wow. <laughs> and y'all just, and I'm just releasing it. That's exclusive, that. that's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal? Yeah. Take no cap, nigga, that's a lot of bread. You'll see, it's okay. gonna come out. Floyd's all in with Team Shakur, but the rest of the world seems to be backing Tank, especially after seeing Shakur struggle to knock out Artem. It'll be exciting to see Shakur and Tank face off in the ring. However, many pros are betting on Tank to win. If Gervonta Davis can knock out Frank Martin, then Shakur should have done the same with Artem. But he didn't, which puts Gervonta Davis at the top of the food chain. After seeing Shakur in action against Artem, Tim Bradley's betting on Tank as the only one who can hand Shakur his first loss. Gervonta Davis packs that one-punch knockout power that's unmatched. You know, because his IQ is right there with him, and he got that power, that, that one-punch power to end the fight. If he catch fucking Shakur, bro, Shakur ain't never been hit, but if he catches him, Bro, it could be, it could be it. You know what I mean? Because you need one of the best finishers in the game. Yeah. So, That's a fight that gotta happen. But, gotta have but, oh, Shakur, but have look, but Shakur, <laughs> Shakur's gonna make sure that don't happen. And that's the concentration that he has. He's gonna have the concentration all night. And he's gonna take limited chances. It's gonna be a boring ass fight, but Shakur should be able to pick it off. Yeah. And, and if Tank starts to rush in and start, you know, get ahead of himself, Shakur's gonna pick, pick him up. Yeah. But again, Tank, they got that timing. He got every punch in the arsenal, bro. I mean, it's gonna be a difficult fight for Shakur, but I still think Shakur can hit him. But I, I don't care. Yeah, his performance was a performance tonight. It is what it is. He did what he had to do against this dude. You know what I'm saying? Made him look like a rookie in my opinion. World champion Terence Crawford has picked out his favorite to win the bout. Let's just say if you're a Shakur fan, you're not gonna like what he had to say. One thing I can say about Tank is he's smart. He can box. Yes. And he explosive. I see that being Shakur's hard, toughest fight because of the power. Twitter's biggest troll Ryan Garcia saw Shakur's fight and just went in on him over how boring it was. Well, Shakur had a special message for everyone criticizing his fight. Just take a look at what he posted on X. Somebody watching that. Oh, no. walked out. Well, well that. it's his last fight with top rank, so good riddance. But he just fought a guy that had only seven KOs. And like, what was it, 12 and one? What, what was it, his record? Nobody knows, come on guys, don't don't come at me. Come on, I've done my work. Two time, hold up. Two time linear world champion, we've done our job. Yeah. Do what uh, they give me, two million dollars. 
That's where his value is at. My value should be uh, on the opposite end, but hey, he got a great management team. They know how to move him. For me though, I'm getting a, how can I say? I'm like a Burberry or Gucci or Italian clothing, you know? But they pay me great value, so. But hey, Ryan wasn't the only one barking up the wrong tree. Teofimo Lopez had a lot to say about Shakur after his bout with Artem. Teofimo Lopez caught the fight live from the stands and was totally unimpressed. He thinks he's a bigger draw than Shakur, and let's be real, I'd rather watch Teofimo's fights any day. They're way more hype. Hey, Tank Davis, I want to fight the guys that's going to come to try to fight me, to try to win, to make sure they got stuff to lose too, just like me. Um, my guys that want to just come here and just be a part of the show. Can you send a message to Tank Davis? Uh, get ready. Again? Let's say something? This one, we got it. That's this the one. message. That's the message? That's, that's the message. It? Tell him fight me. Alright, well. You, you, you think Loma don't, don't want to fight you? I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't that be a, a fun fight? Wouldn't that be somebody that come in there that try to fight, want to win? Yeah. It's a fun fight. It's a fun fight to make. Uh, it's technically good. There's a lot of people probably right now like, we can't go beat him. He didn't stop this guy. So, a lot of people probably won't even believe in me. So, why not make the fight? Knowing how Shakur is, he had to fire a shot back at Teo. And so he did with style on X. This is going to be an epic battle. The anticipation is building up slowly, and the next big fight on the horizon is Shakur versus Tank. What makes it even more exciting is Floyd's involvement. Just imagine if Tank catches Shakur with a massive left hook, ending the night with a jaw-dropping knockout. That would set up the biggest fight of the decade, Floyd versus Tank. But we'll have to wait for that one. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.